Assalamualaikum. I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. Welcome back everyone. Are you ready? I am so ready. Today I will finalize the process of shape product. I hope you enjoyed and learned many new things from my last video. So today we are talking about how to save your product's title, price, description, images, product type and search text. So let's see how far we can go with these things. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications. You will get notified next time I upload a video. If you want more videos on it, let me know in the comment section. Alright, let's start from the application's finished version. First, let's explore the pocket market zone. So, there's four different tiles, one selection drop down and a button. If we click on save button, let's see what happens. As you see a cool reminder to add products basic. Let's fill it down. And when we again click on that, now it's giving reminds to fill out description form. Let's get it done. Now it says upload at least one image. Let's upload some images. Okay, now select products type and lastly, let's add at least three search tags. Okay, now when we click on save product, there's a nice progress dialog to showing process of uploading products info cool product uploaded successfully finally we are able to save our product that's really cool so we are going to implement it here in the tutorial so let's check out how it's done first let's open edit product screen file today we are gonna finalize the save product function in last tutorial we created this function today we'll apply the function inside of save product function as you saw in last part we created the function with boolean type so first we are going to create a boolean variable all images uploaded and i just set it to false now we will create a try catch block to execute a specific function i just add the variable in try block in the variable we will assign upload product images function we got a red line before we use the function we have to add a wait cured Okay, so that's mean when upload images false, it will execute upload images function. And we will also define whenever upload images true. So take a if statement. If all images uploaded true, it will send reminders to user all images uploaded successfully. Else it will throw a failed message. Some images could not be uploaded. Please try again. We are done with try block. Now we will add on, catch and finally block. Inside final block message would be toast.
inside catch block toast will be something went wrong and same would be inside catch block now we will create a function update product images in product services file okay so in that function we are gonna just add product class to access to update map method it has many properties we need only images property so this will become null and images will become to define that in parameter we are gonna create list of string image url just add it in images property okay so we added images property to update images and now we are gonna put it into a variable so what we are going to do take products collection like this to update specific document we are gonna just add doc to define document in parameter we are gonna take a string value product id I will add that inside doc okay so we have got collection and doc now I am gonna just put it into a variable for easy reference what I will do now I will take await keyword to wait until it update the doc and then continue execution to use that keyword we have to add another keyword async we know for sure that we are gonna update specific docs images so we are gonna just add update method this will become the update product dot to update map method so this will update the data of product classes basically images as you know it's type boolean it has a boolean return statement okay so this will become true that's all it is let's put it inside try block to define image url we are gonna create a list of images to convert a map into a list of objects okay so in the download url we will add selected images and then map maps have useful gitters like keys and values we use them to create a new image object and add to the list if the image type value network it will convert that value otherwise it will execute null value and don't forget to call to list as dirt's map return a kind of iterable let's put the download urls on image url What I will do now, I will create a boolean variable and I just set it to false. Now in the product finalized update, we are gonna just add show dialog. before we use show dialog on that let's adjust a await keyword to remove red line the builder arguments will become parenthesis underscore and error notation feature progress dialog 
to define the feature let's just put that into a variable now use the variable in feature we are gonna add another property message this will be a text saving product cool we are came very close to the end what i want to do now i want to check if the product finalized update true what happens then we are gonna just take if statement if product finalized update true then it will send a reminder to user product uploaded successfully else it will throw an error could not upload product properly please retry now we are gonna add catch on and finally block the exception will become something went wrong inside catch block would be e dot to string and the finally block it will be like this and finally we are gonna add navigator dot pop to, to return to the previous screen So that's all it is. We are done with the function. Now we will run the application and we'll see what happens. I would suggest watch part 18 to 23 in a good way to understand the functionality. I hope it will work nicely. Stay tuned with music. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day or night wherever your aunt work.